Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Time. My name is Catherine. I'm a reference librarian at the Haverford Township Free Library. And today, as you can see, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for Zoom. Um, a lot of you, a lot of us are still using Zoom for our meetings, still doing, you know, telecommuting and work from home. So these are some ways to maybe make it a little safer and even a little more fun. So uh, I wanted to start here in your profile just to look at some settings. I don't know if you're like me or our library book club and if Zoom bombing has been a problem, but if it has, here are some ways to sort of lock down your account so that that doesn't happen quite so much. So you're going to go uh, to zoom.us slash profile, make sure you're logged into your own account, and then click here on settings. So give that just a second here. There are some easy ways that you can sort of prevent people from getting in to your meeting without you having invited them. Um, one of the most important settings is waiting room. Um, it is for some reason not letting me turn it on on my own account. There we go. Now it's on. You can see it's blue and the little dot is slid to the right when you click on it. So I'm going to make sure it does that. With the waiting room, if you're the host, you can see everyone who is requesting to be let in. That way, if you see a name you don't recognize, you don't have to let them in, and that way they can't Zoom bomb you. Um, you can require a password. It looks like that's locked for scheduled meetings. Uh, that's another great way. You can just send the password to the people that you have already invited. Um, so we'll scroll through, look at some more. There are a whole bunch of things. Um, you can, let's see allow join before host but that's probably not a great idea that way if you haven't started the meeting yet as the host um, the zoom bombers could and get in before your waiting room so you leave that off leave it in gray um, you can enable personal meeting id and that way it's the same for all of them but you can turn that off too and that way it's a different meeting id for every um, meeting that you host those are just some quick ways to turn to make your zoom account a little bit safer now if you go to your Zoom desktop app, for me, I just search here um, to search Zoom. You might have a desktop icon or you might just have it open the way that mine is. You're going to click up here. Yours might be a profile picture. I don't have one yet, so mine is just my initials. So click here and then click on settings. It's going to take you to this sort of general settings um, page and then we can change a bunch of things here. Uh, these are a little more technical. You don't really need them if you're just Zoom using Zoom for you know the occasional meeting or conference call. Uh, but you can also do things like enter full screen automatically. Um, it's a little jarring if you do that, which is why mine is off. You get a very large image of your face when you first join. Um, but so what I want to show you especially is the virtual background. I've had a couple people ask, how do you do that? What does that entail to add them? So uh, if we go for just a second here, for some reason, mine is not showing me my video. Um, you can use virtual background. So mine is not going to do that because I'm screen recording down here with my video already, so Zoom can't use my camera, I believe, but just imagine that my face is in here too. So uh, I am gonna choose, I have a green screen, I don't, so oh, my computer doesn't meet the requirements. All right, so we're gonna click add image, don't worry too much about the green screen, but from here you can upload pictures of your own, make sure they're saved to your computer first, but you can upload your own pictures to be your Zoom background. So I made a folder called Zoom Backgrounds, very handy. And I've saved a couple different pictures in here. So maybe I want to pretend that I'm at a baseball game. So I would double click baseball, which is the picture that I saved. And that would be my background. Um, I'm going to add a video recording from Zoom uh, as a second video here to show you what that would actually look like. Just a brief video to show that. Um, but that is how you would continue to add pictures. So you could do another one, um, a nice sunset. Although this one is in portrait mode, so it might not work as well, though it looks like Zoom stretches it to landscape, which is handy. So those are some quick tips and tricks for Zoom. As I said, I'll add another one, another quick video to show you what the background will actually look like. But I hope this helps, and I hope your Zoom meetings are a little safer and a little more fun. Thanks, everyone. Bye.